Hey guys, it's Julie from Table for Two and today we are making a 25 minute beef and snow pea stir fry. And what I love about this dish is it is way faster than calling the takeout guy and waiting around for him. So let's get started with the sauce. In a measuring cup, you are going to add soy sauce, water, this is mi shu, which is a Chinese cooking wine. If you can't find that, you can use mirin, which is a Japanese cooking wine. And then brown sugar, some garlic, and cornstarch. This will be your thickener for the sauce. And just whisk it together, set aside, and then we'll go ahead and cut our flank steak. Now, when you cut flank steak, you wanna make sure that you cut against the grain, otherwise you're gonna get really tough and chewy meat and you don't want that, you want tender. So we'll go ahead and cut them in thin slices. I like cutting them on an angle, so this is a good thickness right here. I really like cooking with flank steak because it's readily available and it also gives the dish really good hearty flavor. All right, and now that we are done, Cutting our flank steak, we're gonna head to the stove and start our stir fry. Turn the heat up to about a medium high heat and add vegetable oil, about a tablespoon or two. We're gonna first cook the snow peas a little just to get them more tender. The idea is you're not trying to cook the snow peas all the way through because you'll cook that later. You're basically just trying to help it along right now um, just to get it a little tender so it cuts down on the cooking time. And with snow peas, if you cook it too long, you'll notice that because they look brown and yellowish and not good. So you want to keep it bright green color. All right, so it's crackling and it's popping. And you can tell that the exterior is blistering a little. So that means it is time to remove it from the skillet so we can get started on our beef. So we're gonna put this on a plate. Ooh, snow pea overboard. <laughs> So now we are going to add more vegetable oil to the skillet. And we're gonna add about half our flank steak in. You don't wanna add all of it in because you're gonna overcrowd it. And then you won't get that nice brown exterior. So the flank steak cooks really, really fast, especially when it's sliced thin like this. So you don't wanna keep it in the skillet too long. So you wanna take it out and you can just leave it with the snow peas. Now it's okay if you see some pink still in the flank steak. All that, again, is gonna get completely cooked through later when we add in the sauce into the skillet. So let's do the other half. All right, nice and brown. So now is a good time to add in the rest of the dish. You actually do want your skillet really hot because the sauce has cornstarch in it. So cornstarch reacts to heat and that's what gets you the thick sauce. So now that everything is added in, we are ready to add in the sauce and give it a good whisk before adding it just so that everything's combined and mixed together. Just look at that. Look, look how thick it's getting. That is the perfect consistency because you want the thick sauce to pretty much coat the entire stir fry. And at this point, you can turn off the heat because you don't want it to overcook. And we're ready to plate. Now I've got a bowl of rice right here. This is what I like to serve the stir fry with. So you just ladle and spoon it over the top. Doesn't this look way better than takeout? I bet you the takeout guy cannot beat that. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoy. For the full recipe, visit tableforttwoblog.com.